Okay, we're here at Euro Bike. You're over on the craft stand. Obviously, use the kit in training for Radio Shack. What are your views on this stuff? I really love this stuff, especially I have one uh, favorite item. It's the the very light summer jersey. And this summer it was pretty hot. We had temperatures around 40 degrees, and I was just wearing this uh, this jersey, and uh, I love it. And uh, I also use a lot of craft stuff in winter for my winter training. I do a lot of training on the skis, on the cross-country skis, and so, uh, yeah, I'm for years now a big fan of uh, craft stuff, and it keeps me warm and cold uh, all over the year, so I'm pretty happy with, with So you avoid the turbo training in the winter, stuck in a basement, you're out, out in the cold? Uh, yeah, I love it, uh, because I love to be in the, in the fresh air, in the nature, and I don't like it to sit in the cellar and to pedal for four hours on the on the home trainer. It's not my favorite training, so you have to do what uh, keeps you relaxed in your mind and motivated. And so it's you have to make a combination. You go like three, four hours with the skis, and then for one hour with the with the home trainer. Then you have a really good quality training. How much input do you guys have in the development of the kit? Uh, yeah, we are pretty much in intense contact with Craft. Uh, they are always at the races and uh, at the training camps. And then they ask us, okay, do you have any suggestions or, or wishes or uh, what can we do better? And also especially with the fitting. Because for us it's important that uh, the jersey fits really, really tight and well. And also the, the TT suits, uh, because it's uh, important for aerodynamics that uh, the fitting is... Uh, yeah, perfect. Very, very good, uh, perfect, yeah. So, growing up, at, we're at Euro Bike, you get a lot of geeks here, including myself, gawping at exciting stuff. Was there anything you remember, particularly growing up as a cyclist, that you were excited by? Uh, by the bikes? Bikes, whatever it would be. Saddles, helmets, was there anything that you I re admired? I, I, re I really liked the uh, electronic shifting. Yeah. That's really something... Uh, uh, yeah, what, what 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 makes me very happy in the last two years? No, three. I'm riding it now for three years actually, and uh, it uh, makes it quite much more easier for us riders, especially in the rain when it gets cold after five six uh, hours of racing. It's it's hard to shift with the mechanical shifting, and with the um, electronic shifting, you just have to to make little tips, and uh, it saves a lot of energy for you. What races you got coming up? I'm guessing Lombard is going to be one of them. What about the world? Yeah, the world is my next goal, and also the, the Tour of Lombardy. So uh, some uh, some other races coming up, pretty hard races, and I'm looking forward to that because uh, Tour of Lombardy is one of my favorite races, and I uh, especially love to race in Italy because it is a very special atmosphere to race there, and uh, really enjoy racing in Italy. They're slightly mental, to say the least, the Italians when it comes to racing. Uh, yeah, not only in racing, but also the fans, the, the Tifosis, they really, they are, they are crazy. They, they are su supporting everyone, they're having a good time, party, up drinking. on the mountains, drinking, not only drinking, eating, yeah. especially good Italian food, so, yeah, that, that's what it makes it special, and also in a nice countryside, so, yeah. How's your season been? You've been injured, is that right? Yeah, it wasn't my best season so far. I had a lot of bad luck. I had uh, in the Spring Classic in Amstel Gold Race and Flash on two crashes. I was injured after then, so couldn't ride the Giro. And uh, then I got uh, knee inflammation, which took me four weeks out. So had a lot of bad luck, but uh, okay, if you have all the bad luck at the side now, it just can get better. So you have to keep the focus and the motivation, and uh, that's important. How do you keep that focus? Because as an amateur, you have an injury, you eat the Cadbury's chocolate, the Doritos, and worry about the train at a later date. Obviously, as a pro, you can't do that. No, not at all. You always have to, yeah, to keep the motivation and uh, don't let you help yourself hang down. And it's important to, yeah, to have good company. Like I trained now a lot again with uh, Frank Schleck, and uh, it's good to have people around you. They they support you and give you some inspiration and motivation as well. It's all changed next year, Radio Shack to Trek. Will we see you on the team or are you in talks with anybody else you're allowed to tell us? Uh, it's not sure yet. I didn't sign anything yet. So uh, I'm in negotiations, but uh, I didn't sign anything yet. 
there are some races to come up. I hope I can make some results, and uh, after that, I will make my decision. Yeah. Good luck with that. Good luck with the rest Thanks of the season, and thank you ever so much for your time. Thanks a lot. Enjoyed it. <laughs>